Last April, the mayor announced the organization of the Atlanta Children's Foundation, a nonprofit group administered by Economic Opportunity Atlanta, which would channel donations sent to the city to help during the murder crisis. As the summer progressed, officials of EOA and the city implied the money received would be given to Atlanta's safe summer officials to use as they wanted. But as it turned out, what the city meant by safe summer and what EOA meant by safe summer may have been different. Without much fanfare, the EOA board, acting as the Atlanta Children's Foundation, recently distributed $256,000 like this to the Boys Club to extend camp programs, 3%, $8,200. To the Outdoor Activity Center, serving about 900 children, 4%, $12,000. To the Catholic Archdiocese Summer Camps, $20,000, 8%. To the NAACP Safety Centers, $20,000, 8%. To Exodus, $20,000, another 8%. To the Baptist Ministers Union Day Camps, $20,000, also 8%. And to the Youth Enrichment Services Program, operated by Economic Opportunity Atlanta, $156,000, 61%. So it turned out that your own program was the one that was the most deserving of the most money. It turned out that our program was the one that our board decided to fund. EOA Executive Director Levi Moore. So what it looks like to somebody looking at the numbers is that you had this lump of the $256,000 and gave most of it to yourself. Well, we're not giving it to EOA per se, but because you remember that EOA is not the final recipient of it because you have to remember this is providing job opportunities for the young people. To your own program, then. Then you gave it to your own program. But I'm saying uh, we don't give it to our own program because the program consists both of uh, EOA and the people who participate in the program. And I would dare say if we analyze the budget for the money that EOA received, that the majority of that money went to the employment of the young people and also the people who instruct or who have the responsibility for the young people this summer. Figures showed 56,000 of the 156,000 were not for salaries, still almost three times as much as any other program received. We had anticipated originally receiving about $200,000 from the summer program. Atlanta Chief Administrative Officer Richard Stogner says, as it turned out, the city really didn't need that much, but that was mostly because of an unanticipated schedule change and some unexpected donations. One of those circumstances being is the higher level of, of support that we have received through private donations in the 60,000 uh, category of around $60,000, which would, of course, be available to us and would not be, uh, and we could use that to offset what we could expect, reasonably expect from the Children's Foundation. Uh, the exact target date for, for the commencement of school was undefined. That is now uh, the school uh, year will start in Atlanta on September the 2nd. Uh, which is about a week before we expected it to start when we originally put the program together. But City Hall officials say no one from the foundation asked about the city's safe summer needs while the funding decisions were taking place. And the city's formal request for about 